Inside Tesla's 2026 Model 2 factory, Elon Musk's shocking reveal what if the most dangerous thing Tesla is building for 2026 isn't the Model 2 itself, but a secret factory so advanced it could quietly make every other car company and your idea of affordable obsolete. All eyes are on Tesla's secret plans for the 2026 Model 2, the car that could finally make owning a Tesla realistic for people like you and me. For years, Elon Musk has teased a truly affordable electric car, but what he recently revealed about the factory behind it shocked even hardcore Tesla fans and manufacturing experts. Because the real breakthrough isn't just the price tag or the range. The real revolution is how the Model 2 will be built. A factory so different that it could make every old car plant in the world look outdated. And here's the crazy part. Once you understand how this factory works, you'll never look at normal car factories the same way again. So what exactly did Elon Musk reveal about Tesla's 2026 Model 2 factory? How does this new production system cut costs, boost output, and still deliver a car that feels like a real Tesla, not a cheap compromise? And more importantly, if Tesla can build cars this way, what happens to every other automaker still stuck in the old assembly line world? Before we dive into the shocking inside details of Tesla's Model 2 factory, remember to subscribe to Road Zone Reviews so we can reach 10,000 subscribers and turn on notifications so you don't miss upcoming deep dives into Tesla, EVs, and the future of manufacturing. Because what you're about to see isn't just about one car, it's about who wins the next decade of the EV race. 1. What did Elon Musk reveal about the unboxed Model 2 factory? To understand the Model 2 factory, you first have to understand one thing Elon said that quietly changes everything. Tesla is not just redesigning the car, it's redesigning the way cars are built. For over 100 years, almost every car factory has used the same pattern. Build the body, hang the doors, send it down a long line, bolt everything on step by step, and hope nothing backs up. In the Model 2 factory, Elon described a completely different idea often called the unboxed process. Instead of one big, slow line, the car is split into several large sections built in parallel. Think of it like this. Instead of trying to decorate a house while people are still pouring the foundation, framing the walls, and installing the roof at the same time, Tesla breaks the car into a few big rooms and builds each one separately, then snaps them together at the end. Front structure, rear structure, battery and floor, interior module, and body shell are each treated like their own product. Each has its own optimized mini factory, tuned for speed and quality. Only when these modules are nearly complete around 80 to 90% do they meet in a final stage, where robots and fixtures align them and lock them into a complete Model 2. The shocking part of Elon's reveal is the claim that this unboxed factory lay out could double car output on the same footprint, while lowering cost per unit. If that holds true for the Model 2, it's not just a new car. It's a direct attack on the traditional auto factory itself. And this is just the first layer, because once the factory is unboxed, Tesla starts changing the actual bones of the car to match it. 2. How do Giga castings reshape the Model 2 from the ground up? The second key piece of the Model 2 factory is something Tesla has been quietly evolving for years, giant castings. On older cars, the rear and front structures were made from dozens of small stamped pieces of steel and aluminum, welded together in complex jigs. That meant hundreds of parts and thousands of weld points, each one an opportunity for misalignment, corrosion, or noise later in the car's life. With the Model 2, Tesla pushes this idea much further. Massive Giga casting machines can form an entire rear or front structure in just a few large pieces or even a single piece of cast aluminum. That means fewer parts to design, fewer robots to weld them, fewer stations to inspect them, and fewer ways for the structure to fail over time. Instead of managing 70 or 100 individual bits of metal in a busy welding area, the factory pours metal once, cools it in a controlled mold, trims it, and sends it forward as a single module. In the Model 2 factory, those gigacast front and rear sections each get their own mini-line. Some stations drill and tap holes, 
Some attach suspension components, others mount crash structures and brackets. They leave that area almost like ready, made front and rear slices of the car, waiting for the battery and interior to join them. For Tesla, each casting not only removes cost from part count and labor, it also unlocks the unboxed process. You simply can't snap a car together quickly in large modules if those modules are made of hundreds of fragile pieces. Giga castings turn those modules into solid, precise building blocks. Think about it this way. Every time Tesla replaces a cluster of small parts with one big casting, they delete entire rows of robots and weld stations from the factory. Even some quality checks disappear. That's not just engineering its money saved on every single Model 2 that leaves the plant. And if you think that's clever, wait until you see what they do with the battery, because that's where the car and the factory literally fuse together. If you're still watching up to this point, you're clearly a real Tesla nerd like us, so hit the like button. It really helps push this video to more people who love this kind of deep breakdown. 3. How does the Model 2 turn its battery into part of the factory design? The third shocking element is how the battery pack itself becomes part of the structure of the car and the flow of the factory. Traditional EV treat the battery as a giant, separate box. You build the car, you build the battery, and you bolt the box underneath. It works, but it's heavy, complex, and uses extra material. With the Model 2, Tesla leans heavily into the structural battery idea. Cells are arranged directly into a pack that acts like part of the car's floor and chassis, not just something attached later. In the factory, this means the battery module can be built on its own line, with cells, cooling channels and electronics all integrated into a rigid slab. Once complete, that structural pack moves into the final unboxing area, where it is sandwiched between the Giga cast front and rear sections and the upper body shell. Instead of body paint interior lift car bolt battery box under it, the Model 2 process looks more like stacking layers, rear casting, battery slab, front casting, and finally the cabin. This stacking process is much easier to automate and much faster to align. Robots don't need to wrestle a battery box into position below a moving car. They simply place flat layers onto fixtures designed for self-alignment. For owners, it means a stiffer car, better handling, and potentially more range for the same amount of material. For Tesla, it means one more way to cut weight, cost, and complexity while keeping the model too truly affordable. How much do you think Tesla can save per car just by turning the battery into a structural part dollar two, hundred, dollar four, hundred more? Tell us your guess in the comments. And remember, none of this matters if the factory can't keep quality under control at high speed. That's where Tesla's next big advantage shows up. 4. How does Tesla use real-time data and automation to keep quality high? A cheap car that constantly breaks isn't a bargain. That's why one of the most important and least talked about parts of Elon's factory reveal is how deeply data is woven into the Model 2 line. Tesla doesn't just rely on one big inspection at the end. Instead, the Model 2 factory is designed to be full of small, automatic checks at every major step. When a casting is made, cameras and sensors check its dimensions and surface quality. When the battery module is assembled, testers validate voltage, resistance, and cooling channels. When modules are stacked together, lasers and probes confirm that gaps and alignment are within tight limits. If anything is off, that specific model too doesn't quietly drift down the line. The system flags it, stops it, and sends it to be corrected immediately. Over time, all these measurements feed into simple dashboards and charts that engineers review daily. If torque readings on certain bolts start trending down, it warns of a tool that needs calibration. If panel gap variation slowly grows, it may point to a worn fixture or a supplier issue. By reacting early, Tesla avoids a flood of bad cars reaching the end of the line or worse, reaching customers. Even small improvements matter. 
Imagine that scrap and rework eat up 3% of the cost of a $10,000 Model 2, that's about $3. Hundred wasted per car. If better control brings that down to 1%, the loss drops to roughly $100. That extra $200 can support a lower selling price, better materials or pure profit that keeps Tesla healthy as it pushes into the mass market. And after the car leaves the factory, Fewer defects at birth mean fewer warranty claims. Dropping warranty costs by even 1% of revenue on a car at this price point quietly saves Tesla another chunk of money on every Model 2 sold. So we've seen design, structure and quality, but there's still one brutal question left. How do you squeeze every last dollar out of a multi-billion dollar factory? Five. How does the Model 2 factory squeeze maximum output from every square meter? The last piece of Elon Musk's shocking reveal isn't just about parts or robots. It's about time. Building a factory costs billions. The moment you turn on the lights, that building starts costing you money even when nothing is moving. So, for the Model 2 factory, Tesla doesn't just ask, how do we make one car cheaper? It also asks, how do we use this factory as close to 24-7 as possible without chaos? This is where a concept called Overall Equipment Effectiveness, or O, comes in. In simple terms, it combines availability, how often machines are actually running when they're supposed to, performance, whether they run at their designed speed, quality, how many good cars they turn out on the first try. In the Model 2 factory, the unboxed layout, giga castings, structural battery packs, and inline checks all feed into a higher OE. Fewer stops from part shortages. Fewer slowdowns from tricky welds. Fewer surprises from hidden defects. That means Tesla can run the factory in more shifts, for more hours per day, without constantly fighting bottlenecks and breakdowns. The math is simple but brutal. If a factory that cost billions only builds a modest number of cars per year, the depreciation per car can easily land in the thousands of dollars. If the same footprint can push out hundreds of thousands more Model 2s per year, that fixed cost per vehicle drops sharply. You never see a line on the invoice labeled factory cost, but it's baked into the final price. To keep machines running smoothly, Tesla leans on preventive and predictive maintenance. Sensors on robots and conveyors track vibration, temperature, and cycle counts. Data models predict when a component is about to fail long before it actually breaks. That lets Tesla fix equipment in planned windows instead of losing hours or days to sudden breakdowns. All of this only works because the underlying design is so tightly integrated. The Model 2 is engineered to be easy to build, snapped together from robust modules, with quality checked continuously instead of in one big shot at the end. A smoother line runs longer, a longer, running line spreads factory cost across more cars. More cars mean Tesla can afford to push the price of the Model 2 into territory that used to be unthinkable for an electric vehicle. And this is where it all comes together, the moment you realize the real product might not be the car at all, but the factory blueprint behind it. Final. Why Elon's Model 2 factory reveal really matters when you put all of these layers together. The Model 2 stops looking like just another small Tesla and starts looking like the first car designed from the ground up to match a new kind of factory. Giga castings that turn dozens of parts into one. Structural batteries that double as the spine of the car. An unboxed layout that builds sections in parallel instead of one long, slow line. Real-time data checks that kill defects early. And factories tuned to run harder and smarter, not just bigger, this is the world Elon Musk hinted at when he revealed how the 2026 Model 2 would be built. A world where the factory itself is Tesla's real secret weapon. As we get closer to 2026, the biggest question might not be how much will the Model 2 cost, but how fast can Tesla clone this factory idea around the world, and how quickly will everyone else be forced to follow? Because if Tesla is right, this isn't just about one affordable EV, it's about who controls the future way all cars are made.
If you enjoyed going inside Tesla's Model 2 factory and want more deep dives into the engineering and strategy behind EV, make sure to subscribe to Road Zone Reviews and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next breakdown. In the next video, we're going to look at how the Model 2's price could completely shake up the used car market, so don't miss that. And tell us in the comments, do you think this factory design will let Tesla truly dominate the mass market EV space or will legacy automakers find a way to catch up? Thanks for watching.